Hello, good morning. Coach Todd here, hopefully you can hear me. Um, I'm going to make a, a short video today. We are having our first outdoor bike ride tomorrow, which is awesome. However, I drove Johnny to school today and it's cold out there. Like I'm cold. Um, so, very quick. This is a repair bag, okay, and it hangs below your your seat or your bike saddle. And uh, I'm going to have this. This is like a rear hydration mount that goes on your saddle. And what it does, is it allows you to have another bottle cage in the back, right? This is obviously not attached to my bike yet, but I'll do it later. <clears throat> the reason why I like having this is it gives me a place to put my light and have another uh, place for a water bottle. The light is cool. You can see that it's probably blinding you, but I want most of you guys or all of you guys to have one of these lights so that we are more visible on the roads. So these are not that expensive. You can pick them up at your local bike shop or on Amazon. This one here is a Hot Shot by Cygo Light. C-Y-G-O-L-I-T-E. And this is either 100 lumen or 150. I can't remember which one I bought, but get the brighter one. Now, this is the bag that goes behind under the, under the saddle, okay? The other thing you want to have on too is some form of ID. For me, I like to wear uh, the road ID, right? It just goes on my wrist in case anything happens. It has <clears throat> my name, address, contact, emergency contact, <clears throat> Alberta health number, and that's it. Okay, so inside this kit, what is inside this? And every one of you who are going outside riding should have one of these in case something goes wrong. So what's inside my kit? Let's see what's inside. First thing that comes out is CO2. I use CO2 to quickly inflate a flat tire if I need to. I also have a glueless patch kit. Just in case the tube that's in here gets another flat, I can take a glueless patch kit and you open it up and you know what's inside is a glueless patch that goes on and it's pretty simple to use. I think all you do is you take out some sandpaper, scr uh, roughly scratch the rubber, put it on this uh, patch, hold it for a minute or two, pump it up, and away you go. Look at that, I have another one of those. I have two glueless patch kits. I also have, this is called, I have a bunch of these. How many of these do I have? I got like three, I don't need three. Anyways, these are called emergency tire boot. So what happens is if your tire ever gets like a big hole in it, you can either take like if you have a $5 bill or a $20 bill or a gel, empty gel pack, you can shove it in there to fill that hole up or you put one of these guys in there and it just, it just protects that hole so that the tube doesn't pop out. So that's what this does. It just protects if you get a bigger hole in your tire, you put that in underneath it to support the tire tube inside so it doesn't pop out. So I got a few of those. These are tire levers. If you have a flat tire, in order to change it to get the tube out and put in a new tube, you need these tire levers to pop off the tire. So you need these guys. And yes, one is good, but you need two. Two is, is way, way better, okay? You need a spare tube. You see, I've got a gigantic, like a gigantor, look how big that thing is. A gigantic valve extender because my wheel in the back is very deep. It's like a 90 millimeter uh, depth. So I need a big, big stem. Now, if you have uh, deep wheels too, make sure that you have the pro appropriate size valve stem if you get a flat tire. Because we just got back from California and Ben was changing his tire and he realized his tube, the extender was too short. It wouldn't come through the hole. So make sure you have the right valve size. Okay, what else do I got in here? I have another CO2 and you know what? CO2s are useless. They are useless without this guy. And what this is is a CO2 adapter and you screw it in there and this allows you to take the CO2 from the cartridge and put it into the tube. But without this guy, it's useless. And how do I know that? 
because it's happened to me before. I was on a ride, we had a flat tire, and I was with the group, and it's, oh, no, 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 you guys go ahead, I'll be fine. I'll change this flat tire in two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. I get it all changed out, take out the CO2, ready to go. And I didn't, I didn't have this adapter in my bag, and I felt like an idiot. So I saw the group right off, and it wasn't good. I had to hitchhike, it wasn't good. Not a hitchhike, but a good pump. And the last thing I have, I got two more things actually. Look, in here I have a valve extender and I have, uh, these are the guys, and I had a phone call. So I don't know what happened there. Did it pause? It paused on my end. Anyhow, these guys here, they remove the core from, uh, from the valve stem so that you can add this extender on it. Not all extenders are made that way, but these ones here, these head ones, they are, you have to remove the core, screw on the valve extender, take the core, and screw it on the top. So I have that, just in case I need to add another tube. And the last thing that I have in this bag are some tools. Okay, so in here, you open it up, there's a lot of Allen keys, wrenches, and we have different things. We have a screwdriver, we have a spoke tightener, we have a little knife. And all of that stuff that I just showed you goes in this bag. And yes, it can be a little tricky. Usually what I do is I put in the tube first. And then I put in these guys second because they take up a lot of space. And then CO2. Sometimes I shove those guys in last. And then, oh, I seriously do not need three of these tire boots. Although, you know what? Because we're riding with the group, I'm going to put them in there just in case someone else has a problem. I take these guys and just slide them in on the side. Take the patchlet kit. I have two of these guys. I don't need to. I only need one. Shove that in there. CO2 adapter. Put that in there too. I know you can't see me putting it in there, but it's all going in. And the last but not least, the valve extenders. They go inside. You can if you want to. You can put in like a some money like twenty dollars or something to put that in there in case you need it and that's it remember wear your id put your light on the back of your bike and we are good to go that's it very short video today i don't know how short it was i don't have a time but it's done everybody have a wonderful day today and i'll see you on the roads tomorrow see ya